I am excited to see what we're about to get ourselves into. I got all the yarns here. A very fall little granny square. I think I'm becoming a little obsessed. Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra if you're new here and today we're checking things off my cozy fall bucket list. If you didn't see my cozy fall guide, I gave lots of fall inspiration and we made an autumn bucket list together. So I figured I'd bring you guys along while we check some of those things off that list. We're gonna go to a fall festival, we're gonna have a fall movie night, and we're gonna do some fun cozy hobbies, which I am very excited about because I've recently been practicing my crochet and I actually made something, but we'll get into that later. I am just so excited to bring you guys along with me today and my channel is all things crafty and cozy so if that sounds like something you're interested in be sure to subscribe so we can hang out each week but let's go ahead and get right into this cozy fall day so the first thing on the agenda is to go to a fall festival that is happening today. There are going to be all kinds of food trucks, handcrafted goods, a parade, and the event details say there will be butter making, hog calling, fiddling, rock throwing, and baby crawling. So I am excited to see what we're about to get ourselves into, but let's go ahead and head to the festival. So it's really sunny, but I got a honey jalapeno smash burger. We got some fresh cut fries and he got an Oklahoma smash burger. And then Jenna decided she didn't want anything but fries, but she's going to get some ice cream later. So we're about to eat and then we will explore some more of the festival. I look for the things I don't know. We are currently chilling on a swan boat ride. Well, I'm chilling. Brendan and Jenna are up front pedaling and making this boat move. But the festival has been really fun so far. We've had lots of yummy food. I got some coffee and we're just relaxing and enjoying the rest of our time here. So I will check back in with you guys later whenever we get home and we'll do some cozy hobbies. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the so on the way home, we had to make a detour to Hobby Lobby, of course. And since I've really been getting into crocheting, I wanted to look at their yarn. So I found these two colors that I think would be really pretty for a pumpkin. But since I'm just now getting into it, I don't really know which yarn is the best. So this one is, I love this yarn. And this brand is Yarn B. So if you've tried either of these brands, comment down below and let me know which one is better. I'm probably gonna end up getting this one because you get a lot more yarn, but this feels so much nicer. So I'm not sure, but definitely comment down below which brand from Hobby Lobby is your favorite. So now that we're home and we're going into relaxation mode, I really want to do some cozy hobbies before our fall movie night. And that's going to consist of crocheting. I have been obsessed with crocheting over the last couple weeks. So before I show you guys some of the things that I've made, I want to do a little yarn haul. So these first two are from Hobby Lobby. I got this one, it's the brand Yarn Bee. And I can't find, oh, the color is Butterscotch Rose. And it's really pretty. It has like oranges and greens and like a really light, not red color, but I don't know how to describe it. But the color is just really scream fall to me. And I really like this. So I got this and it's also a lot thicker. It actually says to use a size nine crochet hook. And I just ordered a whole bunch of new hooks. So thankfully I'll have the right size, but I've never worked with yarn this thick. So I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out. And I'm definitely gonna make like a little pumpkin or a beanie with this. And then the other color I got is this. And this brand is, I love this yarn. And let me see if I can find the color for you guys. It's called Burnt Pumpkin. And then you're supposed to use hook size five and a half. So I thought I could make a bunch of little pumpkins with this so those are the two that I got at Hobby Lobby and now I picked up a ton of yarn from Dollar Tree since I'm so new with crocheting I don't really know what yarns good versus what yarn isn't so these seemed good to me and I've worked with them to make some of the things that I already made and I didn't really have a problem with them maybe as I continue I'll be like wow these aren't that good but I really think that they're fine and they're a dollar so you really can't pass that up so I ended up picking up two white yarns I got this blue color this yellow color I got like a light gray color, darker red, kind of like a cranberry color, a very light pale pink, and then kind of like this muted orange color. I got black, 
And then last but not least, I got this and it's called Just Chenille. I have never worked with this before, but it was really soft and it kind of looks like what they use to make beanies. So I'm not too sure I'll have to experiment with this, but it's this pretty pink color as well. I got all the yarns here and I'm stocking up because I'm so excited to continue to learn. So now that I showed you guys my little yarn haul, I'll go ahead and show you guys all the things that I've made. So the first thing I made is this granny square. I actually need to cut these off and kind of like weave them in, but I did this. I am so happy with how this turned out. This is my first attempt at making a granny square. Before I would just practice and practice and then just pull the stitches out. And finally I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to make something and see how it goes. So I put a YouTube tutorial up on the TV and then I made this. So I was super excited about this and I'm excited to make more of these. And I've seen where people join them together and make like purses and cardigans. So the options seem limitless and I feel like this is a good essential to know, but I really liked the color combination together, the greens, the orange, the yellow a very fall little granny square. That's the first thing that I've made. And then the next thing is this. And you guys are probably like, what is this? A little white snowball? And no, duh, it's a golf ball. <laughs> My grandpa loves golf and his birthday's coming up next Saturday. So I just had to try to make this little golf ball for him and I added little eyes and a smile. This was actually a lot easier than I thought. It did take a lot of attempts and trying to figure it out and pausing the tutorial and replaying the tutorial, but I did end up getting to make him. This is my first attempt at like amigurumi, which I'm still not sure what that means exactly. Anytime I see that word, it looks like it's animals and like little things like this. So someone let me know down below what's the difference between between amigurumi or just crochet. So the last thing I would like to do today is finish this pumpkin. Well, what's gonna be a pumpkin? I almost think it's long enough. I wanted it to be nice and fat around. I went to the store yesterday and got some polyfill and some little cinnamon sticks. And I would like to finish this today, get it all stuffed up and have a cute little pumpkin. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep so the time has come for cozy movie and game night. We're gonna watch The Great Pumpkin together. We're gonna make some pizza and eat some snacks. And then we're gonna play some board games later. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. So Luna has decided to take her position for movie night. She has been obsessed with sitting up on this egg chair and all of a sudden we'll hear like a loud boom and then she's up on this chair. She just jumps from her TV stand right up to the egg chair. So she's just hanging out up there while we watch The Great Pumpkin. Running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds Walls are listening when we talk. Making echo. Good morning, friends. It is now a couple days later, and I realized I never got to show you my finished pumpkin. I also have gotten to make a couple other things since then, and I think I'm becoming a little obsessed. Any free time that I have now is going to crocheting. Honestly, I don't know why it took so long to just start making things. I thought I had to keep practicing and practicing all these stitches and know every single thing before I could start, and I'm honestly learning so much more by just making things. So let me set you guys down, and I'll show you what I've been making. So here is my finished pumpkin. I love him. And I know that this necessarily isn't a hard thing to do if you crochet, but I am so proud of this. From not knowing how to crochet at all and just like doing the stitches over and over to actually making this, I am just so excited. And then the next thing that I have made is this little pumpkin coaster. I made this by only reading a pattern. I didn't watch a video for this one. I did for the little pumpkin, but this was just a pattern I found on Pinterest. And if you would have told me I would be able to read a pattern and make this, I would have looked at you like you had two heads because when I saw this pattern, I was like, 
oh my gosh, what in the world? But I just broke it down step by step and I was able to make it. I actually found this free pumpkin coaster pattern on Pinterest. So if you guys would like to make it as well, I'll link it down in the description. But if you are a complete beginner at crochet like I am, I definitely recommend just following a tutorial and just going for it. Just start making it because I seriously have learned so much more by trying to make the things. I learned the magic ring. I know all my basic stitches now and it is so fun. If you are already a seasoned crocheter, definitely link your favorite patterns down in the comments so we can all see them and try them out. But now that I'm on a roll with crocheting, I think that I wanna continue that and either make another little pumpkin coaster or this bookmark that I saw on YouTube where it's like a little flower and then you chain to make the thing that sticks in the book and a little leaf peeks out of the bottom. I think that would be super cute. So let's go ahead and get into making. guys so much for hanging out with me today as I crossed some things off my fall bucket list. I had so much fun going to the fall festival, doing some fall themed crocheting, and having a fall movie night. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like crafty or cozy themed content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a new video from me. And with that, I will see you guys next Saturday for a new video. Bye! Say time is a